everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor. I, I can't remember what episode it is, I didn't check. I should have checked. Should I go check now? Nah, I can't be bothered. Hail to the Emperor. More importantly, hail to you, Master. One of these days, I will interrupt you talking. One of these days. What? Um... We apparently have enough ghosts to kill... Well, I say kill, we don't know if we're going to kill him yet. Most likely we are. To confront Darth Thanaton. So, uh, we're going to head down to German Castle. We're going to do that now! Supposedly. Oh, actually, no. Tell a lie. Not going to go down that way. I'm going to go down this way. I'm going to go to my German Castle stronghold. And then, I'm going to exit the stronghold. Because that's a quicker way. Only by about three minutes, but if it saves me time, it saves me time. Although, in case we die, Taylor, shall we have a quick word with you? I think we shall. So, explain this to me. The tomb of Naga Sadao on Koriban was built by Tulak Horde before Naga Sadao was even born? And that's where you found the Deshard Shadow Killer? And when your master tried to steal your body, you used the artifacts of Tulak Horde to put her being into this Deshard? You forgot the part where I received aid from my long-dead ancestor, who was murdered by Tulak Horde. Kalik. He was one of the most powerful Sith Lords of his time. Perhaps the most powerful. And an alien, too. To think how the Empire might have been different if he had killed Tulak Horde and not the other way around. No. Darth Zash and I have been talking. Well, when she's around. I would love to speak more with Kem Val, but I don't think he likes me. Kemval respects strength. You're a little on the weak side. Well, I'd say that's a matter of debate. Ah! They don't give lieutenant stripes to just everyone, you know. But your adventures sound fascinating. Five artifacts of Tulak Horde. I understand you inherited quite the archive from Zash. I would love to see it sometime. I would love to show it to you. Excellent. The quest for knowledge is eternal. His sad face when he was all like, "Well, that's yeah. up to debate." It was, it was, it was so sad. I, ah, I am going to try and make these episodes a little longer, if I can, just a little longer, um, because of course the end is nigh for the Dark vs. Light event, and I want to try and get as much done as I possibly can, and I can't do that until I get these characters finished with their class story, because of course there's all Shadow Revan and there's the Kotet stuff, blah, de blah, de blah. So. My plan is this whole week, this week alone, will just be me finishing the Sith Inquisitor. Just this week alone. Now, what this means is that every planet will be about one episode long. So I will try and complete each planet in one episode. So we got this to come. Then we got, I think... Uh, what comes after? Crap. We've got Vos Corellia. Oh my god, I've forgotten what the other planet is. Oh, Belsavis. So we've got Belsavis. Did I say Hoth? I didn't mean to say Hoth. Belsavis, Corellia, and Vos is what I was meant to say. I don't know if I said Hoth or Vos. I can't remember now. Um, so we've got those on the way. Well, it goes Corellia, Vos, then. No. It goes Belsavis, Vos, then Corellia. And getting things wrong all the time. Where am I supposed to be going? Uh, I'm supposed to be going over there, apparently, anyway. Okay, cool. So, yes. Three episodes per planet. And then, of course, we've got the dramatic finale. And then, of course, like I said, I'll go and do stuff. I'll come back. And then we've got a whole bunch of packs to open. Destination? Unknown. So, it's going to be exciting. I don't know when I'm going to do the pack videos um, for the characters. But, hey... We'll see. Maybe just before the event finishes. I don't know. Can't do that while moving. Oh, that's see it's Mark of Power. Are you okay? Yeah, no, nah, I'm not. I'm clearly not okay. I was thinking Seed was my Mark of Power. Yeah. Thanaton! I'm ready to confront you. Where are you, you son of a bitch? You are. Oh. All the way over here. What's going on over there? There's Thanaton. Who's who's that before I go into the cutscene? Roland. Roland, eh? Keep rolling, rolling, and rolling, rolling. After Lord Cineratus' death, I knew you'd be here eventually. 
A lesser Sith would run and hide under a sand dune. But it's obvious you're not a lesser Sith. I'm not, am I? The sooner we get this done, the better. Talk makes you impatient. You are young and proud. No doubt all you see is a withered old man waiting to be crushed and succeeded. Roland? Yes, Master. The apprentice of a disobedient Sith must die. Let us do our solemn duty. This time, I will be sure to dispose of your corpse personally. I will not be a corpse. Defeat Roland first, and then I can attack Thanaton, I imagine. Oh, wow, Roland's dying a lot easier than I thought he was. I'm not even using Heroic Moment, and he's just dying. Okay, ah, oh, I should have pushed him off the edge. Ah, oh, wait, come here, Roland, come here. Come over here, Roland. C c come here. I want to push you off the edge and see what happens. Okay, you do that. I need to wait for this. To, I need to wait for overload. Come on! No, come here. I want to push you off the edge. Come here. C come here. Come here. Thank you. Okay. Now, goodbye. Goodbye. Uh, oh, he's still falling. Oh. Ah! That's annoying. You can't push him off the edge to kill him. Oh, that is really annoying. <laughs> he just teleports back up. Well, I guess it's fair. Although, to be honest, we don't need to talk to him, so... Yeah, that's a bit odd. Why, why couldn't that have worked? Okay, I like this. This is really cool. Uh, Thanison. You must stop this nonsense now. Don't let him talk to you like that. Like He's I a will. Treacherous snake. Cut out his fangs. He has fangs. Careful now. Don't lose control. I warned you my ritual was dangerous. I warned you it was not for the weak. But you drank the poison. What have you done, you fool? You can't handle that kind of power. I'll try. Oh! Deary, deary me. That's so British of me. Deary, deary me. Ah, oh, I left a mark. What just happened? Where's Thanaton? You're dying, little snake. Don't struggle. It'll only prolong the agony. One thing I forgot to mention about the Force Binding. You should never, ever bind more than one ghost at a time. Or else, well, you'll see. Whoever you are, be quiet. I need to think. <laughs> she wants to think. She should have thought before she grasps for power beyond her abilities. We had no choice but to serve you before. But now, we can finally have some fun. Uh-oh. Sith. Back in the land of the living. Easy now. Hi, Cam. You overextended yourself. The ghost's power was too much for your body to adapt to so quickly. And that's not to mention the little chats you've been having in your sleep. Let me guess the ghosts. Uh. That's not yours to know. Deny it outright next time. Evasion is as good as confirmation. Whatever the cause, you look dire. And Thanaton will take advantage unless we find a cure quickly. Give me some time to do some research. Ashara, I'll need your help. Holocrons are impossible these days. So did Thanaton die? Um... I'll take that. But did he die? I know he got knocked into a wall and was electrocuted to... To crap, but did, did did he die? I'm gonna guess so. Um, but we need to go back to our ship now, and we'll go this way. Gather around. It makes no sense. Darth Vilas produced over three thousand volumes, writings, and holocrons. Makes a one-line notation. I'm hearing voices. Must find cure. Then nothing. In 3,000 volumes, not a single other mention of the subject. Surely, there must be other leads. Even among Sith, 
Ghostly voices and power overloads are not common occurrences. I've looked every... Wait, why didn't I see this before? Volume 2397, line 232. Oh. Killed my fourth apprentice today. Caught him spying. Same line. Volume 2455. Killed by a fourth apprentice today. Caught him spying. The entire volume is a duplicate. Uh. How did that fool know what volume to hide? Venaton must have grasped what was going on when he confronted you and ordered the volumes switched. Let's hope he didn't destroy them. He keeps a private, heavily guarded library under Drummond Castle. I'm not supposed to know about it, but for various reasons, I do. I'm guessing Darth Vilas's missing volume and another by Darth Aratus are there. Both could be imperative to your survival. Have we got to go back to Drummond Castle? We were just there. We were literally just there. I've got a very squeaky chair right now. I need to put some WD-40 on this or something, but... Uh, can't be bothered. How squeaky it is. It's fun. Oh! And we're even going back to the exact same place we were just at. Fantastic. Oh! I was about to fall down the elevator then. And goodness I stopped. Uh... Hi, guard captain. Don't mind me. Stop right there. Sorry, my lord, but you're not allowed in here. And why not? You will let me in. I'm welcome here. We will let you in. You're welcome here. Thank you. Thanaton keeps his most useful holocrons on the far wall. I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you took one. I bet he wouldn't. That's good. Okay, let's go take a bunch, shall we? Uh, ooh, what's this? Anything good? Oh, we're retrieving the data from it, whatever it is. The price of power is what this mission's called. Oh, done. After pursuing many of the many writings, you find volume 2397 of the writings of Darth Vilas. After more scanning, you locate the relevant passage. I scanned one thing. Voice is growing more persistent. Must find a cure soon. Having trouble concentrating. Have heard that the new species on the planet called Voss knows healing rituals far beyond our own. Must go and find out. The ritual is real, but these strange aliens will not share it. They are secretive, private, and they have no respect for the power of the Sith. They worship their mystics and follow their every command. My voices grow louder by the day. Oh. Okay. And here I thought we were going to be going to, uh, Belsavis first. Oh, guess I was wrong about that. Uh, is this the one? Ooh, there's this. Um, it's a holocron I need, so it must be upstairs. While they're saying that, I don't see a holocron that I can access, so... Oh, it's over here! Ooh, apparently. Uh, ah, there it is! Found it, because I'm amazing! You find several holocrons belonging to Darth Iritus, but only one of them appears relevant. The ritual I performed was too much power too quickly. I am disintegrating rapidly. I have begun to drain parts of my power into holocrons, though it is only a temporary solution. My research points to a cure, almost too amazing to fathom, but I must try and I must succeed. It will require going into the heart of Belsavis, a place so racked with chaos I shudder to think of going. Still. No time for hesitation. I go now, or not at all. I guess that's where we're going. Use my ship's intercom. Back to the ship I go. Going backwards and forwards a lot here. It's getting kind of annoying. Right, I think for this episode, what we'll do is that we'll use the intercom, and then we'll talk to every one of my companions we have so far. Apart from Treek and HK, of course. And then we'll finish up this episode, and then we'll do the eat one planet equals um, one episode thing. Okay? Yeah? I found some things that look relevant. Excellent. It will take some time for Ashara and I to study these. In the meantime, you may want to check in on Harker. 
Make certain he knows you're alive, and that he shouldn't take any liberties with the trials. I would like very much to know how my future apprentice is coming along. I'll let you know the moment I find anything. Okay, change of plans. We'll talk to some of our companions right now, then we'll go to Korriban, and then we'll finish off with all the companions so far. So, Kem to begin with. Tulak Horde's body has been taken. I must reclaim it. How would you know that? It was revealed to me, just as before, in a vision. The bones are in a storehouse on Hoth, where the thief took them. I saw it clearly. I'm going to reclaim them, whether you will it or not. I don't want to follow. I helped you defeat Veshik Urk. I'll help you find two like Horde's bones. My Thank you, my master. Okay, well there's a mission where we gotta go to Hoth and do whatnot, so we'll do that another time, I guess. And Dronikos will go to you next. Have a chat with you for a little bit. Hey uh, Sith. We make a pretty good team. <laughs> I was thinking I might take off after I found Reich, but the old job just doesn't sound quite as appealing. I'd be honored to have you with me. Maybe sometime I'll take you out into open space, show you the thrill of lying in wait for a big freighter and a big payoff. I may be out of the game, but my skills are sharper than ever. Why am I worried that this game's assuming that we're not romantically involved anymore? I just, there's something about the conversation between me and Andronico that doesn't seem romantic anymore. I, I'm, yeah, I'm a bit concerned. My lord, I'm sorry I was so harsh about the Empire earlier. There's just a lot I'm still trying to process. Let me know if I can do anything to make the adjustment easier. I know Jedi are supposed to be patient, but it's never been my strength. How would you feel if suddenly you had a Jedi Master and were serving the Republic? Sick to my stomach. Don't be flippant. <laughs> I promise I won't let my misgivings interfere with our work. Okay, we'll talk to you once we're back from Korriban. Talos! If you don't buy my Wait. Are you talking to yourself? If you don't buy my asking, how is it you became Sith, my lord? The process is completely foreign to me. I had a brother who was force sensitive. Darth Ma came and took him to Korriban, but we didn't hear from him again after that. Ungrateful little rat thinks he's too good for us now, my father said. But really, I think he just missed him. Oh, you mentioned Darth Maul. How about that? Um... Most of the people who go to Korriban to become Sith die in training. Sorry, that's not what you want to hear. You don't but... know my brother. He never took no for an answer. We Drelic boys might not look like much, but we fight back. Father always wanted one son in the Sith and one in the military. Admittedly, the Imperial Reclamation Service wasn't his first choice, but after all the cursing stopped, I think he warmed up to the idea. When people think of military heroism, they don't generally think of digging in ancient tombs. No, but we serve a vital purpose. The Imperial Reclamation Service shores up the Empire's foundations against the flood of forgetfulness and misinformation that threatens our history. I'd like to see a fighter pilot establish the lineage of a 3,000-year-old Sith Lord with nothing but rocks and a dead language. I have always believed that knowledge will ultimately win out over the lightsaber and the blaster. What's a liar? Thank you, my lord. It is my honor to serve. Let's just pretend that's sarcasm because that is totally not what Listaria thinks. Not in the slightest because Listaria is all like, ugh, I just don't care for knowledge. I really just don't care. Um, so, now, we're going to head to Korriban. Uh, and we're going to go get our companion, because no doubt we'll get our companion now. Hopefully. i tell you one thing that I do need to do that I still haven't done. Um, is find some holocrons or datacrons on some of the planets for the Dark vs. Light stuff. Um, oh yes, something I forgot to mention as well. I have done these two. Yeah, I got Zen weaving up to 550. I just need to do the other four. So I'm I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And I do I do feel like I could do the eternal level uh by before 
Um, that was like ends. I don't think I could do the legendary level. Um, because, uh, that, that kind of requires me to get level 50 with every single class, which I don't think I'm going to be able to do. Um, that I'll be able to do, uh, because that's kind of on the way to sort of getting to cop fee. Um, yeah, there's just some which I don't think I will do. Uh, maybe I'll just sort of, you know, I just need to get them to level 50, don't I? Um, for the class one. So maybe I'll just create a character, get them to level 10, get them off the Poseidon planet, and then just do heroics the whole way. Maybe, because, I mean, that would be very boring. But it's double XP! And so I'll get a bunch of experience for heroics. I mean, do I have any heroics right now? Um, I don't. So I can't really see how much experience I'd get for them, unless I go to the fleet, which I can't be bothered to do right now. So, yeah. Y y yeah, sort of. Hey. Ooh, Hawken! I'm back! Time for death. It would be my pleasure to kill you. Quiet, both of you. You know your trial. Now go. Mm. My lord, you just missed the latest trial. As you can see, we have a wild group. All except the human. He was surprisingly quick to die. The trials are meant to separate the weak from the strong. You have come a long way, my lord. My credits are on the three-eyed one, personally. Uglier than my twisted Sith grandmother, but he has a vicious streak uncommon in slaves. I'll take that bet. My credits are on the Kalish. I didn't know you were the gambling type, my lord. While you're here, is there anything particular you want to accomplish with these trials? Many Sith Lords use the Acolytes to gather things from the tombs for them. Anything that will help me in my struggle with Thanaton would be appreciated. I think I know something. I'll contact you when they are on their last trial so that you can arrive in time for the results. Okay, so Thanaton's really dead. Uh, really alive. He's still alive then, he just... Oh, okay. Because I, I was thinking, well... It's a bit odd that he just sort of got knocked back and electrocuted and that's it. So he is still alive. Okay, fair enough. Um, maybe I just missed that. I probably missed that, but hey. Uh, back to my ship now. I thought I was going to get my companion here, but I guess I'm not going to go get it right now. That's a shame. I also need to change up which companion I'm getting as well, because I don't want Talos. I want Andronikos. Ha! The last name, the last parts of their names are the same. It's so cute. Right, I think of all the companions we need to speak to now, we just need to speak to Ashara up to this point. So, hello again. I changed my mind. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, okay. What did I do? I don't understand. I haven't done anything. No, you didn't do anything, but you're Sith. Oh. Just released on the Holonet. Sith in the Corellian system killed the group of free traders for failing to give them free passage to the Outer Rim. They murdered them. Uh... I'm sorry, but you can't hold me responsible for the actions of every Sith. What's the Empire gonna do about it? You know the answer as well as I do. Nothing. If there's gonna be any kind of peace agreement, the Empire has to stop this. It sounds like you want to make Jedi out of Sith. Free will is the ultimate good, hmm? Even if it results in the deaths of innocents? Well, what about their free will? Their desires? I guess they should have been Sith. Forget it. I should have expected you'd take the Sith side. You're assuming that Jedi would do this as well? I know Andronicus is rather attached to the ship, but I was wondering if I could fly it now and then. Master Ryan said I showed exceptional aptitude at flying and simulation training, but I've never been able to pilot the real thing. Is there anything the Jedi don't teach their Padawans? Not much. The Jedi Order believes in a thorough education in both theoretical and practical matters. We join the Order as young children, sometimes babies. The Jedi Order raises us. I never told you if you could or not, but hey. My lord, I've been studying the Sith Code lately, and I'm wondering what you think of the line, Peace is a lie. There doesn't seem to be a lot of room for interpretation, but I know you are an ardent proponent of peace. Uh... You should know by now that I do not allow the Sith to dictate how I live my life. 
Yes, I guess so. It still strikes me as strange how you can be Sith and value Sith teaching so little. The Jedi Code is the core of our philosophy. We learn it by heart and it's the foundation of everything we do. But I guess it's different for the Sith. The Sith Code is more a description than a guide. We interpret it how we want to interpret it. Some take its words very seriously. Which is better? The ones that truly believe peace is a lie? Or the ones with no code at all? How can there be peace with the Sith Empire when every Sith does their own thing? This task we've taken gets more difficult every day. Sorry, Ashara, but the Republic do the same. You know this, don't you? There's the there's the Jedi, they do their own thing. There's the Republic military, they also do their own thing. There's also these smugglers and all that that sort of have the Republic to guide them. They do their own thing. Everybody in the galaxy does their own thing, Ashara. This is why I don't like you. You wouldn't be in my top five of the worst companions, but hold on. <laughs> Good, you're not in any of my top five of the worst, favorite, forgettable, or memorable. You're just there. Zash and I have been looking over the information you recovered from Thanaton's library. Any truth to the rumors there's a big old Republic prison on Del Savas? I heard something of that from Master Ryan, but I didn't want to believe it. Unfortunately, Del Savas looks like the most promising lead. Darth Eratus went there seeking a cure for the deterioration of his body. It sounds like precisely the thing you need. I want to keep all options open. Continue to research Voss while I go to Belsavis. Yes, my lord. My knowledge is limited, but I'll brief you once we dock with the Belsavis space station. Cool. Alright then. Um, here's a question. I'll take that, I'll take all that experience. What do I look like with, uh, Dark Side Corruption? Should we take a look? Oh. I look exactly the same. I look exactly the same. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So because I got a costume on, dark side corruption doesn't occur. Right. Okay, that's interesting to say the least. But hey, um, right. So we're gonna go to Balsavis. We will have the cutscene to sort of introduce us to Balsavis, and then we'll finish up in this episode. I don't know when I'm gonna go to Hoth for Chem, but it's not gonna be in this episode. It might be in, I don't know, next episode or the episode after that. I wanna, I wanna sort of do the companion stuff steadily. Shut up! Shut up, TV. Shut up. We've arrived at the Balsavis spaceport. Good. We'll have to work quickly if we're to find a cure for your strange ailment. We know that a sick called Darth Heratus suffered a similar problem. His power became too much for him, and he began to deteriorate. We also know that he went to Belsavis in search of a Rakata device that he believed could fix him. Whatever that means. Who were these Rakata? Little is known of them. They were highly advanced and ruled the galaxy. Then they just disappeared. I've looked Disappear. into Belsavis. There is indeed evidence that the Rakata were here, and that they built some kind of monumental prison. The Republic have arrived since, however, and built their own prison. Whatever this device is, we'll have to navigate two prisons to get to it. How do we know this device hasn't been destroyed? Eratus's research is solid. I've checked it. The Empire recently discovered the Republic's prison, and staged a massive prison break. Saves us the trouble of breaking in, I guess. It also means the planet is in chaos, and any trailed apparatus left will have been obliterated. Sounds like my kind of place. I wonder what the Empire wants with Belsavis. It seems rather out of the way. I'm afraid I've been out of the loop too long to say. But while perusing the Republic prison logs, I discovered a familiar name. The Circle. A group of criminal technologists NICTO I once employed. They never met a system they couldn't slice, or a machine they couldn't reverse engineer. Perhaps they can interpret Dr. Addis's diagrams on Belsavis. 
I hope you're right about this. The circle sliced into an ancient computer system that had the Empire's best paleotechnologists stumped. You won't find anyone better, on Belsavis or anywhere. I bet one of the guardhouses has a record of where they were kept. I've seen my share of prisons. I bet you have. You must be careful. Belsavis is a place of unknown danger. But be quick. The dates on Darth Aratus' records show his condition worsening rapidly. Well, that's not good. I mean, how, how long have I got? We've got days, weeks, months, a couple years? <sighs> so anyway, next time we'll make our way down to Belsavis and find the guard captain. But for now, thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I shall see you next time. And a farewell to you.